everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Yoshi's Woolly World. Last time, we triumphed over the evil King Bowser and restored peace to Craft Island. This time, we're back to see all that has changed, including a new BGM melody unlocked in the sound test and a Yarn Yoshi back together in front of Bowser's castle and a new course open in World 6 and the Boss Tent. That sounds like a pretty long and happy list of things to check out, so I guess we're free to do that. The title screen has now changed as well, showing all of the colors of Yoshis that were hanging out in the middle of Craft Island at the beginning of the game. Now that everything is returned back to normal, all of Yoshi's friends are back. Well, most of them. Upon beating the game, there will be a star on the save file, and I guess I could also show this. You actually don't need to use buttons to select your save file. I'm gonna move my cursor over to blue, and I'm gonna tap the green Yarn Yoshi amiibo to instantly click on the green. It's not at all necessary, and it's probably less convenient than just, you know, pressing A, but it's a nice touch that because the Yoshis represent the save files, they went to the trouble of doing that. And aw, uh, Bertha Yoshi gets to have his own celebration with all the other Yoshis come. Yeah, there's more we have yet to do. Still five flowers out there floating around somewhere. My bet is they're in World 6, because we just heard about it. There's all kinds of new Yoshis that have come out to play. This dark blue Yoshi is the correct color for solving the puzzle in Bowser's Castle, so that's another way that you could, in theory, solve that puzzle really easy by having player one be green Yoshi, player two be red Yoshi, and then switch the costume to this blue one uh, through an amiibo. But it's not overly necessary for us to really do any of that, so I think, uh, you know what? Blue she, you're a new she. Remember all that time ago when I said choose your save file wisely because it determines your starter Yoshi? We only just now unlocked pink and light blue. That is how long it would have taken, so I really meant it when I said first come, first serve, pick your favorite, because it'll be a while. Since we've finally done it, I'm trying to think about what we should actually go tackle first, because there's a lot of things that have opened up all at once. Um, there is the boss tent, which is something new, but I think I want to save that for a little bit. Maybe the scrapbook theater can be how we get our adventure on today. Here is the bestiary as I was able to fill it in. There's still a few enemies missing as you have to throw eggs at them in order to get them. Thankfully, it at least shows a thumbnail of who the enemy is after clearing the levels. So it's not all that bad getting them all, and you might remember where you've seen an enemy, and if not, well, that's what Super Mario Wiki is for because it'll tell you all the level appearances of an enemy. I might be giving a little bit of premature credit to people that help me make this series, you know, just because I don't do it all alone. There's a lot of great resources out there that I use in order to make things a reality. Oh god, Miss Cluck. <laughs> That is the scariest thing I have ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> she ran back across. <laughs> that was really funny. You can scroll through the enemies. Some of them will have animations when pressing the A button. Others will not. Kind of lets you get a good close-up look at these enemies and all the meticulous detail that went into crafting them. Snag Stitches, for instance, only got to show up in one level, but it doesn't make them any less of a cool enemy. A Fooly Flower. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I love giving voices to everything. It's a weakness. Uh, what if we go back a little bit? Rough and tumble patch. Oh, yeah. So the patch enemies, the perler bead versions of them, do indeed have unique bestiary entries. I never threw an egg at Kamek. <laughs> I was trying to in the last area, and I guess it didn't take. It's kind of funny. Bert the Bashful. Let's, uh, let's check out Bert the Bashful. Uh, I was hoping that he'd go into a totem pole with his two, with his uh, knitted duplicates. Bunsen the hot dog, who looks horrifying from the front. Please, please don't ever look at me like that again. Keep your eyes closed here. I'm going to match the A button, so I only have to look at your eyes for a couple of frames at a time. That's the only way that I can stand to look at you. I'm sorry. Let's collect the insincere. Thank goodness we didn't see her reverse giving birth like she does in the fight. Naval Piranha. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. Sniffberg the Unfeeling. You're cool, literally. Baby Bowser. 
who has a pretty good design. He's no Poochie, but he transitioned pretty nicely. And Mega Baby Bowser. Whoa. Aw, uh, his voice is getting deep with puberty a little bit, just as his teeth are coming in. If you are unaware, this is actually Bowser as a baby, not Bowser's son. This is a prequel to Super Mario Brothers, in that Yoshi and Mario aren't traveling together on a regular basis yet. Um, they just kind of are wildlife at this point and aren't really widely adopted into Mushroom Kingdom society. Bowser is still just merely a young kid who is kind of inherited a kingdom, and Kamek is his nanny. That's kind of how this all fits together in the Mario timeline, in case that sort of thing is important to you. So there is all that. There is also the sound test, and I have no complaints at all with the fact that there is a sound test in this game. It is great. But there's still some songs yet to be unlocked, and I don't really feel right going through it quite yet. As we'll see all that stuff in due time. For now... Enough celebrating of our hard-earned victories. There's still a few friends out there who are still separate organs. And he's hiding in 6-S. That's not the only thing that is new. By ascending in front of Bowser's castle, Baby Bowser Yoshi! I assume that's what you're called. It is time to be taking one hot bath in Skeleton Goonies Lava Lair! Don't you dare use immunity to fiery lava! We are looking for a fun and interesting challenge! That is what we are doing in the post-game in the first place! We triumphed over the final boss without any you suck features, but with a lot of you suckage told to us by the game after I died a bunch. But we're gonna go see hidden items just cause it tickles my fancy as of late. And I gotta be real with you, I don't remember this level. I understand the gimmick now. I don't need any further reminder than the, oh no. Uh, okay, good. I thought I screwed up there for a second. Just flutter jump a lot. Listen to Yoshi go home, home, home over and over again, and you should be fine. Just juggling off of these. This music is so cheerful and high energy for what this is. I mean, high energy makes sense, but cheerful, maybe not. I like the sound when you hit on the mount on the head. Punk. Punk. Just very satisfying. It almost sounds delicious. Like I don't know. Like maybe like a uh, one little snippet of pouring out a drink. Just me. Okay. Uh, gonna take that and whoop. You. Bad. Ah. So they're roughly the right distance apart that you can not hold right. <laughs> Well, I mean, the first few in the level are, as I will demonstrate to you now. Actually, not even those. Never mind. I think I was just getting lucky. Oh, God. Okay, screw it. Uh, well, crap. I lived! May that not have had anything important in it. This had something. We How did we miss flower number one? Where was there even an opportunity for that to be? Oh, God. Uh, give me, uh, pop off your head, pop off your head. Literally, I am popping off your head in the sense that I am jumping off of it, but I'm also popping it off of the rest of your body and then putting you into the pit of despair. Thank you. Uh, all right, we got two of these here. If any, okay, good. Thank you. I was about to ask the great Safari Yoshi from above if I may have sacrifices for the needs of going forward, and he was benevolent in my in helping my cause. Number two has some beads. Quite a few Amiibo stamps, though. Can't complain about that. What an objects turn on? Really? Where was that last one? Did I get it on a previous run and I just slipped my mind to grab it again or something? Oh, no, 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 I don't like that you have a stiff upper lip, okay? Bye. Thank you. 
Well, uh, I'm probably not getting that, and I might not even be getting out of this level alive, but I have to say, I'm pleasantly surprised by how short of a level this seems to be, because we have four out of five Wonder Wolves, and it doesn't really look like there's more to it than that. Please don't- Oh, there was something at the bottom of that. Totally where I would have hit something if I was a game designer, and I've been pretty on with my guesses. Two out of five! Still better than I did in middle school. Almost all the Meaver stamps on the first run, so that wasn't too bad of a disaster fee. I was thinking Baby Bowser's hide might be immune to the effects of lava, but that didn't really seem to come true. So for the repeat run, Let's get a little bit more mature in here. With age, his mouth opened, Bowser Yoshi! Actually, no, we've already used him. <laughs> okay, um, instead, what about... No, it's not gonna Well, I was going to say Lucas Yoshi because he has a lot of experience with dead people. Ooh, there's the smooth Yoshi right there. But I don't think he's who we're gonna use. Let's get on our Din's Fire with Zelda Yoshi. Pretty good transition, I have to say. I've learned my lesson. Pick up eggs at the start of the level when they give you that huge wall of goonies. I'm also thinking that perhaps Behind this is yes, flower number three. Oh. Seeing hidden items can't help you there. And I really should have noticed something was awry when that was flower number two already at the beginning of the level, but I was kind of more focused on not dying. Where you see dead babies, I see an egg refill station. Takes three shots to destroy a blarg. Not exactly easy to do with how limited of a resource eggs are. If I'm recalling, number three out of the, this trio was the problem one, and yes, that has a flower. Okay, maybe it wasn't the problem one then. Maybe I did get all three of them after all. I swore I had to abandon taking on the third one because the Blargs were giving me a lot of trouble, but maybe not? And I know that they're gonna hide something here. It's just what they would do, because they're giving you this guy to jump up. Yep, there is our costume. And then this is probably gonna be hearts. Oh, whoa! A daisy made of love! Maybe not the best thing to say. Unravel your pence at me, result screen. That is perfecto. Even got all the Meaver stamps. And the bonus stage is, ooh, I believe this one's popped up before, but not in great quantity. Okay, got that spawned right on my head. For those of you that are all like, are you trying to miss the watermelon? Well, the watermelon just kind of thought it would do the work for me this time, I guess. Uh, give me those. Uh, nope, get that. Whoop. Almost got it uh, through the third round. That was pretty good. Useless beads. Cause let's be real, am I gonna be able to find a way to use those? Probably not. A new course is now open on Craft Island. Not only that. We've gone all the way back to NES Yoshi. This is NES Yoshi in North America and Europe, but in Japan, it was actually Famicom Yoshi and looks completely different and it's impossible to obtain outside of the Japanese version of the game. Again, kind of a shame that not every single Yoshi costume is obtainable within the same version, because they could have totally thrown in the alts as a bonus for us and would have been absolutely fine. People know what the Famicom is these days. Heck, you even released a separate amiibo for Rob, if you don't believe me. Um, and beyond that, I do need to correct a mistake of mine. The Super Famicom Yoshi, I don't think I've talked about this yet. Maybe I have. The Super Famicom Yoshi that I said was, um, which I said was a uh, Super Famicom in Europe, is actually not the case. Here's how it is. You have this design with the name Super Famicom Yoshi in Japan, this design with Super NES Yoshi in North America, 
And then in Europe, it's the Japanese design combined with the American name because it was called the Super NES over there and had that design. It's a little bit complicated how they redid it for all those all those different regions, but hey, here we are. Next is actually not this, but our entire adventure has been building up to this egg maturing and being ready to hatch. Stardash S. This is the true final level of Yoshi's Woolly World and by far the largest challenge within it. But it's not the only remaining big challenge that is left, and so I thought we'd probably want to save this one for last. Next time on Yoshi's Woolly World, we go into the mouth of the boss tent. See you guys then.